Hello, welcome back to the shop. So today is not going to be our normal machine shop, you know, sawmill, drag line, you know, steam engine video. Uh, well, it is a steam engine video. So I get a lot of requests for from companies wanting me to promote their products, a lot. And I weed through them. Um, there are just so many products that have nothing to do with what I do here. And I just don't want to promote something that I'm not going to use or try or, you know, I'm not interested in. Uh, so over the years, we've got Anchor Lube. We've been working with now for a few years and absolutely love Anchor Lube. They're great, great company to work with, great product. Um, absolutely love it. I sell it in my own store and online and in the shop here. Um, KVC Tools, another great brand that I work with. Um, good products, good pricing. Now this one is one that reached out uh, among hundreds of others, but Engine DIY shop. They have a lot of scale models of engines. Uh, there's, there's, you know, gas engines, uh, jets, steam engines, boilers. And this one is a new product for them. Uh, they said they haven't really released it yet. And it's a engine and boiler in one unit. And I'm also into model ships a little bit. So I kind of got excited about this one because I can use, put this in a model boat, RC boat. So I'm kind of excited to get into this and see what we got. Um, and they were looking for feedback also on what I think of the kit and the model overall. So if you're not interested in this kind of stuff, I apologize. And if you are, uh, check out their products. They got some really neat stuff. So this is the first one of theirs I will be diving into. So let's get over to the bench and let's start on this and see what, what they really got here. See how good this is. I, I'm very excited. This is the kit. This is the Engine DIY Shop RWBL1K steam engine, model steam engine. So go ahead and open it up. And uh, obviously here is the base mounting plate, the first thing we take out. And looks like that is laser cut. Looks like it's pretty good. Uh, I see some tapped holes there. For mounting that the engine must sit here and this is where the boiler must mount yep there's some bolt holes there we'll set that off and instructions hmm what do we need those for i will go use those i'm just in case so the packaging is very nice um all all in uh, foam packing so looks like we'll just each segment out yeah it looks like a bunch of parts in one segment uh, let's see okay the boiler and all of its components it looks like are in this segment and then here's a couple more engine segments so the engine is all in pieces And the boiler looks like it is mostly complete, which is good for because a lot of people probably shouldn't be trying to build a pressure vessel um, when they don't know a lot about it. This is the burner unit. I actually have this packaged very well. Yeah, so here is the boiler itself. It looks like we just have some bolt-on uh, fittings. It must be a gauge glass that goes here. Everything is already welded, sealed, so that's good. You're not building a pressure vessel yourself. All right, so I have everything laid out here, and overall first impressions, um, very nice. Uh, the workmanship actually looks really nice. So here is the crankshaft, connecting rod, Get that where you can see it but I mean very nice this the valve the valve gear here um, just very nice here is the cylinder itself and it is sleeved um, I mean, again very 
very nice. Um, I do see a little machining marks on it, but I mean that's not a not an issue. I mean just it's very nice, smooth. This is where the valve in the, the steam chest is, and the valve runs. Here is actually the steam chest, so that goes together like that, and that needs to be a smooth surface. Um, I'm not sure where the valve is. I'll have to dig a little further, but overall very nice um, looks like ball bearings in the uh, bearings here so overall looks like a really nice little little kit well well machined well made um, actually quite surprised and it comes with a tool set so you have everything you need right here except I did look in the manual I know um, that did say you need um, oils and uh, they're recommending Loctite. So I think I'm gonna put this together without the Loctite in case I need to take it back apart. Um, and should be okay there. But as far as cylinder oil, I'm gonna look at, into that one um, because I think the cylinder oil I use for my steam engines is gonna be way too heavy. Um, I gotta look at the pressures, what this runs at, and then verify my cylinder oil will pick up. Otherwise, we'll just, uh, I'll come up with something lighter, maybe order something. Overall, uh, it looks like a nice kit. I'm going to go ahead and we're just going to do a, I'm going to assemble it, do a time lapse, and, uh, or high speed, however this works out. And then we'll uh, give it a final overview and see what we think. There she all is. That's the engine itself. I'll tell you that was extremely difficult with fingers that don't uh, work the best. And I actually did lose one screw. Um, there was no extra in the spare parts, but for the little nameplate here, I lost that one. Um, but I'm not too concerned about that. It's kind of hard to see that, but there's the completed engine. Uh, overall, wasn't too bad to put together. Um, the only thing I had an issue with is the alignment of the shaft here for the, the shifter. Uh, if you can see this little guy. We had to bend this out a little bit, otherwise it was binding. But overall, that didn't go bad at all. So we'll move on to 
the boiler. Alright, I hope this is going well for everybody. You can see what's going on. Um, there's the boiler. My big complaint with making the boiler was my hands are too fat. Um, and then the other thing, there's a shoulder up under the valve here. And if you go too far with the jam nut, you can't tighten up the jam nut. But overall, it went well. The gauge glass is in. The only thing, there was not a wrench in the kit for these two screws here to hold the boiler in so but overall that came out nice now we got to put it on the base and get this thing all hooked up and then we can run it have it nice little little kit here and uh, overall I had about an hour into it overall put it together uh, the worst of it I said was bend you know this was bending this tube to get it right um, the nice part about it is it's got this nice base so I might put this in a model boat and that'll give me a place to mount it so that'll work out really well You've got your gauge, a safety valve, your main shutoff valve for the steam. Um, you know, that little bit of discrepancy I had here with this linkage that I had to adjust it uh, to make it work smoothly. Um, that was kind of a, you know, unfortunate, but you know, missed in design, I'm guessing, or just kind of bad bend on this part here. Overall, very pleased with it. Um, you can put the flywheel on either side. You know, it's kind of too bad it doesn't have two flywheels. So I would definitely put one on both sides just to, for that extra weight. But overall, a uh, very nice little kit. You know, came with all the tools. The only thing I really needed... I did find I needed uh, some more metric Allen wrenches just for a couple sizes that weren't there. Uh, a little bit of oil, I just used a syringe with a, um, these are special bought needles to get in there. So pretty cool, pretty nice little kit. Um, really very impressed with it for for what they get for these things. They're, they're not bad, I think they're right around $400. And some of their other kits look really intriguing as well. So engine DIY shop. So as I said, not my normal content, um, but still something kind of cool, different. And, uh, you know, I got the model RC boats. I think this will make a great little power unit for one of those. Um, I've got some ideas in mind, but I definitely would like to try some of their other models. These are actually very well built. I'm very impressed. So I'm going to go ahead fill this thing up with water. Let's uh, get a fire in it and see if it runs. All right, I got her filled up with water, about three quarter glass. And make sure you follow the instructions. And that's lit. 
You're going to need st steam cylinder oil. You're going to need alcohol. Um, you know, all the necessary stuff. Yeah, she's heating. I don't know how long this is going to take, but uh, we'll come back when the pressure's up. Good thing there's a safety valve here. Our main throttle valve is shut off. We've got cylinder oil in it, so <clears throat> these are all things you're going to need um, to order and have on hand is cylinder oil, alcohol, and um, I recommend distilled water in these little boilers. A water, our boiler is a water concentrator, so any impurities in your water is going to concentrate and collect in your boiler, especially on these little boilers that don't have a blowdown valve. That's why big boilers have blowdowns. You can get that, that concentrate, the sediments and stuff blown out of the boiler. These do not, so running distilled water is your safest option. All right, we got some pressure. We are looking good on water yet in the glass, and you can see the safety is starting to lift a little. Let's, uh, let's see what this thing does, if anything. Well, the little guy runs good. So a pretty fun little kit um, from Engine DIY Shop, model steam engine. Uh, this is a new model for them, they told me, and uh, I'm, I'm very impressed. I think this would be a great kit for uh, somebody to build with their kids or grandkids. Um, just a, a fun little kit. Uh, would have been a lot more fun for me if my hands weren't so fat and cumbersome, but I like working on really big stuff, so that makes sense. But yeah, just a neat, neat little kit. Well, again, that was a fun little project um, and definitely something I'm not going to do a lot of these product reviews and, and collaborations. Um, you know, it's very specific for me. It's got to be something I'm interested in. got to be something my viewers would be interested in. It's got to go with the channel. So we're, I'm pretty picky about what I do collaboration videos with and this is just something that's really cool i'm interested in i know a lot of my viewers are into the model engines and stuff so check out their website engine diy shop there'll be a link in the description below um, they've got a lot of really neat kits um, actually i'm, I'm kind of excited to maybe work with them again and and work on maybe a couple other kits um, i'm just kind of watching it over there make kind of seeing it, how the pressure is looking but Fun little kit. I, I'm very happy to have uh, had the opportunity to build this and I hope you enjoyed the video. And with that, until next time, get out in your shop and get it done right the first time.